Let's continue. That took a while. Um, fingers crossed the sunfish is there. Okay, uh, sell 15 beans. That should have been 15. Oh, let me guess, I have to harvest this. Yep. Okay, these are ready. But they're not part of any bundle. So I guess sell the gold and the silver for now. Still got plenty. And I can make a pond today, which I think it's just stone, seaweed, and algae from memory. Okay, move this up here. There we go. Um, it's the beach hipster's birthday. I need to catch... Salmon. Five algae, five seaweed, or two hundred stone, one hundred stone. I think it was two hundred from memory. If I'm rem remembering correctly. Because I have to sell at least one coffee, so sold it. Uh, okay. You know what? If I can build two, I'll try and I'll just take all of it. How much stone do I? I don't have enough stone, but I guess I can buy it. Um. I suppose this is the other thing I can do, is just quickly try and get some here. You can only build one at a time. Oh yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, so aren't the big stone anywhere? I don't see any. Ugh, I hate this bush, I wish it wasn't there. <laughs> I'll just buy the rest of it, it's fine. I hope it's 100, but I I'm thinking it's two. Okay. Shrimp. 
Oh, there's batteries on sale, but, 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 but. <laughs> They're too expensive. That's 2,000. I can't do that. I'm glad I bought the others at 1,500. Uh, I mean, I kind of have a- hang on. I kind of have a lot of junk with me. I am planning on going to the mines, I just... Don't need wood for it. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's better. I'll move these to the other chest over there. Uh, I'm gonna bring these with me so I can sell them. Okay. How is it already- how is it already midday? Oh, this. Here they are. Okay, that'll, that'll do for now. Oh. Uh. This is poor time management on my part. Okay. I'm gonna put it right next to the crop so then I have a spot to water. Ah, the best cutscene ever. Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said to get fruit. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what scientific classification it is. Lyra, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. How would you classify a tomato? Vegetable. Really? I figured a farmer like you would know the correct answer. I just want you to understand my point of view. I just want to be technically correct. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. But I'll try to get better at it. Thanks for your help, warrior. Oh, double. If it were me, I would ask what kind of a cake they want for their birthday just to try and trap it and be like, do you want a chocolate cake or a fruit cake? And if they answer fruit cake, I'm 100% like getting someone to make him a tomato cake. Because fuck him. <laughs> Mario. Oh, uh, Mario. Wario is here. Jeez, I said Mario. Hi, Wario. I'm stumped on the math problem right now for the project I've been working on. I've been stuck for an hour. Maybe you could help me figure it out. Uh, I'm not good at math. Okay, let's do this then. Let's see. What is it? What's the problem? Let's grab my laptop. Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to find the rate of change of the area of the circle when the radius is exactly 4 meters. For my calculations, it's increasing at a rate of 0.5 meters per minute. 
The circumference of the circle is increasing at a rate of 0.5 meters per minute. What's the rate of change of the area when the circle is 4 meters? What? Right, so, yeah, it's like in 2 minutes it's 1 meter. But then it says, what's the rate of change? Isn't it... This is a dumb question. Because the rate of change wouldn't change. Unless you're talking about acceleration. I'm overthinking this, I know, but like... If the rate of change is 0.5 per minute, why is it asking me what the rate of change is? I think it's asking the wrong thing. Or maybe I just haven't done math in a very long time. Let's punch this in and see what happens. Probably wrong. Yeah. It's also past midnight here, so you know. Shows how much high school math kind of stuck with me. There's another problem I have too. I tested a reaction to produce a gaseous mixture of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and water vapor. The reaction contained 0.6 molecules of carbon dioxide, 0.3. Okay, so percentage is 60, 30, and then 10. What? I wasn't paying attention. Given, okay, 0.6 CO2. 0.3 MOL. Right, so it's 30% of 0.8. I mean, roughly? <laughs> this is correct. Why, why, who came up with this cutscene? I have a few more problems to go tackle. I appreciate your help. This is this is a new cutscene, and I want to know who's responsible for it. Um, see, I all, I was about to walk out again. <laughs> I almost lost my train of thought as to what I was doing here in the first place. Alright, so it is 200 stone. Good. I play this to feel good about my micromanagement skills, not math skills. Read the room. Uh, probably here, so then it doesn't block that path off. Because otherwise if I put it here, it blocks the corner off, so... That'll do for now. I'll probably move it later. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about Elliot's birthday. I'll pay him in duck feathers later. I didn't understand the person said it increased by 0.5 per minute, so how much did it start increasing after four minutes? Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, again, in, in my defense, reading comprehension after midnight starts decreasing at about that same rate. And I, I did not expect to have to think like that.
<laughs> I definitely haven't retained what I had in high school. Like, I was decent at math in high school. I'm gonna try and catch the other fish, just for Jody's thing. It was just like... I know this makes me sound like a moron, but like... It was just so wordy. Like, I feel like that could have been phrased so differently to make it less wordy. I don't know. Well, I know, I know how that sounds, but that's just, that's just how it felt. It's just a bunch of information dumped that I wasn't expecting at, like, 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> also, pretty lucky to have gotten that right away, so... No time wasted. Okay. I love the irony of, like, just poking fun at Demetrius, like, the complex he has of feeling superior. And then just dumbass <laughs> gets stumped on what's well, probably a pretty straightforward math question if you read it correctly. Ching Ching! Oh, yes! It's the passive, so, you know. I guess it's not diamond number five anymore. I guess I, I should have read in the Wario voice, because then I could have at the very least claimed... I could have claimed that I was just being Wario, like stupid, not being able to do math. Eh, what do you need math for? Just one piece of iridium, that's all I want. And then... Minecart- Ugh, wow! Okay. Oh, it was only one, but still. Why didn't it give me two? Anyway, it doesn't matter. That diamond factory is uh, gonna be up and running. Free copper bar. Uh, yeah, just go down. I should be digging as well, but I'm gonna not do it. I have one more dwarf scroll to find.
Okay, these, these bats actually hurt. <laughs> I, I, I guess worst comes to worst, I can eat the trout soup. That doesn't really matter that I'm not using it for fishing. Oh, okay. This is being really nice to me right now. Uh oh. Get down, get down, get down! Um, okay, hold on. Get rid of the sap to make room. Is that better than what I have? 165. Slower speed, bigger weight, but like, I mean, I guess it's fine. Hold on. I'm gonna eat the cave carrots. Is there something I can make? No. Okay. Just a couple. Just to bring my health to like a... <laughs> a level where I'm not gonna die in two hits. Okay, well, this is straight through. I might be able to make it to 95. Oh, it's a champion slime. Get him! Uh, okay, hold up. Uh... Yeah, just get rid of that. Four plus two, three plus... Okay. I might use the bomb... Here. See how lucky I got. I need to find it in the next 15 seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah. Okay. This is like digs. Wait, what are you doing here? Black slimes are a rare phenomenon corrupted by dark magic for hundreds of years. If you can't black slime, don't let it touch you. Okay. Well, I mean... I'll be fine. I think. I hope. As long as I'm home in the next 30 seconds, it should be okay. That's stupid. Uh. I'm being greedy, I'm being greedy, I'm being greedy, I'm being greedy. What do I need for minecarts? One piece of iridium. Just a single, a single nugget of iridium, that's it. Pretty sure. Yep, 
Yeah. That's all I need. Oh, it's raining again. Okay, well, that's nice. Uh, pink cake is a gift. Put this here. Put that there as well. That's pretty good timing. I guess just go in there again. Um, gonna keep the sword just in case I'm not happy with this one. I'll go past the cave and grab whatever mushrooms I can out of it. Wait, why don't the copper bar auto stack? Probably because I don't have one. There we go. Um, I'm gonna put this back. I suppose I can get Autumn's Bounty. Because I do have that food there available. Um, somewhere. Where the heck did I put it? Oh, come on. I know I had one. I know, I know. Organization. Where's that there? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I may have put it here. No? Ugh, I don't know. Fuck it. It's my own fault. Um, I'm just gonna keep going on. Let's just... The animals should be fine. They'll have food. I guess I should start saving for the house upgrade. No, what was I doing? So, hang on. Truffle, pawn... Sorry, hang on. What do I need? I got the... I got the espresso recipe. I got the pond. I think I can work towards the farmhouse now. Pretty certain. That was what was on my... Agenda. Okay, I mean... Just take it anyway. There's nothing I can do from a fishing perspective. Um, I'll buy seeds tomorrow. I mean, that's kind of nice that he hangs out there. Okay, anyway.
Oh, right. Yeah, this might be problematic. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not in the bundle. Sometimes it is. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be going well. Damn it. Yeah, I'm missing four. I kind of got them in numerical order, which is strange. It never happens that way. <laughs> this is not good. This is the first floor and I'm already down to half health. Carrots will sustain, I guess. I think I just need to avoid stuff now. Like, I can't keep fighting. Okay, good. Oh, what am I doing? It's right here. Uh oh. Just gonna go over here. Okay, well, in the interest of getting this done, I'm kind of hurting myself a little, but that's fine. do the same thing here. You know how I can see my luck? Yesterday I had max luck, and you were like, it's going really well for me, and now I have bad luck, and I'm like, it's not going well for me. But sometimes luck doesn't have a correlation to that, particularly in the skull caverns. It's like, if you're having a lucky day, then you get infestations more. Luck has always been a weird stat in this game. It doesn't quite work out the way you think it does. From a combat perspective, it's not going well. But I think it's fine now. I mean, I'm not about to let a day go to waste just because I'm not progressing as well. I probably should have eaten the other mushroom, but it's okay. Okay, fuck me then, huh? You get more enemies on bad luck days, more gems and easier stairs on good luck days. Right. Okay, a single piece of wood, I'm sorry, but I'm not I'm not hanging on to that. I don't mind getting bat wings because we need them, so.
I just remember getting distinctly annoyed when it was like a good luck day and yet I still got infestations. Okay. Oh, there's... I'm kind of glad I didn't leave here then. Okay. Do I need any mushrooms? Uh... Well, I mean, I can eat the chanterelle. I've already got a few of them. I should have eaten that one first. Okay, there we go. Oh, I hate the spiral map. This one can be like a real waste of time. Another diamond? Dude. Am I up to double digits in diamond now? <laughs> it's constantly getting diamonds. Nineteen and ninety-nine are some spirals and probably some others, yeah. It just... It's always a wild card, because you can sometimes get it right away. And then sometimes it just takes an eternity. But yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I don't have to kill that. Eat the morel. Okay. Yes! I have a choice of continuing or trying to catch the lava eel. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do it. I know you're not gonna like me here, cat. <laughs> Cause I remember how long this took you to do. And meanwhile, like first day I just got it. I remember. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Yeah, that's, that's just, that's how you do it. <laughs> just, for comedic effect, I should just throw it out. But no, I'm keeping it. It took you a whole season, right? It took you a whole season to do it. When we are playing. That was, that was three casts. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, look, I get unlucky with stuff, but... Like, for instance, that, that... That festival with that spinning wheel where, like, green is rigged to win, for whatever reason, I lose with green constantly. But for some reason you can get the legendaries. I wonder if it's like a state of mind thing because they have a special icon. And maybe you're just better because you're like, ooh, legendary, I have to get this. And you'll, I guess, more in the zone right away. Whereas in with those, you kind of have to, like, be alert, but then you're not necessarily getting it right away. I don't know. But 
That's also dumb luck at the end of the day as well. Like, sometimes those fish are just assholes and just jump up and then go immediately down. And then you just lose them. Probably don't want to mess around too much with killing things. This needs to happen in, like, the next 30 seconds. It started off a bit rocky, but this is... this has been fine. I might not be able to do this one. Maybe I should have just killed it. Okay, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get two floors in, like, ten seconds. I think it's because you mindlessly throw in the line in the lava, just expecting trash ten times in a row. Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. Because with the legendaries, at least there's filler. There's like fish that you have to actively catch, whereas in that one it kind of just comes out of nowhere. Unless you're me. I will probably go back there again and just get to the bottom. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I don't think I have time to do anything. Okay. Hey! <laughs> get out! <laughs> Why is it allowed to do that? Why does the why does the pet have a hitbox? Seriously, just get rid of the hitbox. Even with the changes they did, it still causes so many problems. Ugh. I'll still pet the cat, but you know, another day of rain. Man, I could have up- I could have upgraded the- Alright, it doesn't matter. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you my new recipe from my secret cookbook, this week's dish, tortillas. How many of you are annoying on a microwave convenience burrito while watching this program? Shame on you. You might as well wrap your beans in an old wash rag. Now listen up, once you've tried my fresh rustic corn tortillas, you'll never go back. Tortilla. It is true, though, like, homemade ones, if you've never had them before, man, they are just legit as fuck. Okay, apparently I was carrying all my stone. Okay, I got stuff to harvest.
I love them, but I'll, I'll never be able to make them the traditional way that my mom did. Using your bare hands is like a spatula. Like, I, I can't do that. It, it's impressive, but it's it's so unnecessary. It's... Okay, uh, I mean... Just do that. When will I get pumpkins? Uh, probably... Oh, five days. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go- I think I might buy some now, actually, and plant them all, just in- just in case. Oh yeah, I see them. There we go. Um, speaking of corn... Okay, I have sip- I have shipped enough. I'm gonna go into town and buy the seeds. Scrolls aren't worth anything now. <laughs> I mean, keep them to gift to the scroll or to the dwarf, I think. And that's about the only purpose they have functionally. Uh, stack the crab. Okay, we're good to go. I probably should have bought stuff to put to the bundle, but eh. Oh, hey there, how may I help you? Um, I'm probably gonna go to, to Willy and buy trout soup just to have as, like, a food source. I don't know, like, 20? That should do. Because Gus- The tad did you- Oh, he moved down, you dick. I was like right out of range, and then he moved down. <laughs> That's fine, I don't care about him. Eh, hey, Wario loves Troish. Okay, um, I'm gonna get two just in case. Worst well, comes to us, it's there for when I fish. I was gonna play a warrior game uh, for the whole, cause every year on Christmas Day, because on Christmas Day we don't celebrate uh, Christmas for us, it's we do it on Christmas Eve, stay up until midnight, open presents, and then Christmas Day it's nothing. So yeah, I mean every day on Christmas Day I play a retro game from childhood, and it was gonna be Warrior this year, but unfortunately the thing that I was gonna play it on didn't. Is not going to arrive before then, so... I'm either going to go with Donkey Kong Country... Or... Maybe the original Super Mario World, and maybe the second one as well, just... Because the first one doesn't really take that long to finish. But it'll be one or the other. That's what you do as well. Yeah, I, I, I know it's like a... It's a common thing. Oh, good. But that's- that's what I do.
Oh, that was quick. I think it's better. As someone that doesn't like to get up in the morning, just the concept of like getting up early to open your presents never really did appeal to me. But as a night owl, like waiting until midnight, and then you open your presents like the moment it's the 25th, that's better for me. And the 24th, I guess, is typically like a day where you, you hang out with the whole family anyway, so it's like... I'm there the whole day and night, and then 25th is nothing. It's just kind of just chill. Isn't that an American thing, opening them in the morning of the 25th? I mean, I think they do it in the UK, I might be wrong. I think in Canada they do it as well. In Australia it's the 25th as well, so... I guess anywhere where the British have had... ...influence... ...it's probably where it comes from. Because, you know, th this, despite what the Americans say... There is British influence there. I mean, it's all it's all but gone now, but... It was there at some point. You wake up whenever I watch some old Disney special that airs every year that is aired for 30, 40 years. Eat food, open presents, and that's it. Yeah, see, I like that, getting out of the way. Does Aussie Santa deliver presents a day early? I mean, compared to everyone else, yeah, I guess so. He gets to New Zealand first, but yeah, we're, we're, a, we're a close second. I just love that every year I just make the same stupid joke. I'll stream on New Year's Day and because everyone's still in the previous year, it doesn't matter what you say, I'll be like, stop saying Stop thinking in the past, that's so last year. I don't care how much of a dad joke it is, I still enjoy it. Twenty twenty, I mean aside from the big elephant in the room, I was able to say, Oh, that's so last decade. Little did I know what was coming around the corner. But yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that... I think most countries do it on the 24th. I could be wrong. I do the dad joke that all the dads do on the 24th of December in Sweden. What is it? What's the what's the dad joke? And please don't tell me it's like a Torbjorn thing where it's like when you translate it to English, it's just it's just gibberish. Oh, come on. Torbjorn? Yeah, he's uh, an Overwatch character who is Swedish. And uh, some of his voice lines are like some Swedish sayings, but translated over to English.
I, I forget, uh, I forget what they are, but Cat would know them. Like, don't get your beard stuck in a letterbox. Or caught in the letterbox, I don't know. On the Disney special, there's a clip of a Christmas elf where he paints a chessboard with a paint that's checkered, and all the dads say, That would be handy. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, you're making a chicken out of a feather, there's one. Yes. There, there it is. I mean, the English equivalent is don't make a mountain out of a molehill, alright? Sort of, like not- it's the closest. Oh, my favorite one. It's, uh, it's harder to move sand than it is snow. That's my favorite Torbjord mine. It's harder to move so snow than sand. I don't know, it's all Swedish to me. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. You have the bit in the letterbox, but I guess you're speaking basically the same language. I- I saw this thing today that had, uh, the movie Pinocchio. And then it had, uh... The line in all the Scandinavian countries. And, I mean... Finnish just sounded so different. Norwegian and Swedish sounded similar, but not quite. I forget what other two countries they had, but yeah. Particularly the word for father, that was interesting. Finish just sounds more European. If I was to put a, a word to it. I might not be able to make it to the end today, but I'll be five floors away. Do I have any more cave carrots? I do not, but I have bombs. Oh no. It's okay, I have health. Um, just remain calm, just keep digging. Trust your instincts! <laughs> Never give up! Finnish doesn't have the same origin as the other Nordic countries, it's closer to Russian, yeah. Oh, 
I'll see if I can find the video cut. I think the most interesting part was the word for dad. It was like, shared with three of them except one that just decides to be different. And I have enough time to plant this, so this went okay. Wait, did I visit the- I didn't visit the traveling merchant, did I? Did I visit the traveling merchant? I didn't, did I? Shit. I didn't visit the traveling merchant, did I? Fuck. Alright, fine. Take the L. Yeah, I'm not about to restart the day just to visit the traveling merchant. Even though internally I'm like, what if the sunfish was on sale? I'm not gonna subject you to that. that that's that's like 20 minutes I have to redo. It's not gonna happen. And I did so well in the mines as well, so no. Well, say hello, Gabby. Like, what the heck? I've never- I've never seen it rain this much. Again. Again! The puppy fish looks cursed in the tank too. Oh, it does. Have you ever seen the movie, um... Five All Goes West? I think it's called An American Tale in... Other regions. But there's a there's a dog fish in that. It's, it's practically a whole week of just rain. It's blackberry season, but I mean I had it rain, I think, twice in summer. It really, it really wants me to finish this. Um, I guess I should sell it a single crab. I could have upgraded the watering can. But I guess I, don't, I didn't have the money, so... Sure, but... Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Hey. I have to save the milk as well, because bundle, so... Let's start that process, and hopefully I don't get different quality milk like with the eggs. Because that was frustrating. I had to wait for the perfect time. Uh, it's her birthday, but... Fine Linus's Blackberry Basket. It's in the forest, I think. I mean, if I get done early with the caves, I'll go blackberry hunting, but... As it stands now... No, what? No, what? This basket is near the bus. I thought it was in the forest. I thought you were telling me don't go to the blackberry stuff.
What am I thinking of then? Um, do I need food? I guess I still have these. Wait, in Australia, heaps of people are like, what's wrong with the weather? It's not supposed to rain like this and be cold in summertime. But to yourself, you think, cool weather and rain is nice. You don't need the scorching heat of Australian summer. I mean, I think the only exception is Melbourne and uh, Hobart. But uh, yeah, I mean, for the rest of the country, it's kind of rare to see this much rain. Okay, first of all, like, to be clear, the lang I didn't use the language forced, right? I think it was something that along the lines of, oh yeah, and to, s to help set all this up, Kat suggested a bunch of mods she was playing with, and she helped me out. That's how I phrased it. I didn't say, Kat forced me to install mods. I did ask... I did ask. Melbourne is a bit cooler than Sydney in general. Yeah, dude. It's, oh, right, yeah. To the left, to the left, to the left. I know where. There. It kind of blends in. I mean, the way you know, right, when the country is on fire, the majority of fires happen in New South Wales and Queensland. Some happen in Victoria, but not as much as the other two states. And Tasmania is like, it happens, but not that much either. I guess let's just deliver this right now. You know what? Here. And here. The lack of music when it's raining. I'm listening to music. <laughs> I just can't play it through the stream. Those days are gone where I could play music on stream. There you go, but you got it back now. I think that's one complaint I have about this game, is everything is great, it's just... It can go with quite a few long pauses of audio. And I guess that's a, that's a choice of atmosphere. But I don't know. If there was a mod that would add more music to this, I would take it. That would be a good mod. But I'm not sure how feasible that is. Music has become such an annoying thing online. Yeah. Do you know for the, uh... The Game Awards, that event they had recently? Twitch s sent emails that said, If you're interested in... Co-streaming the Game Awards, which is something they encourage every year, by the way. You should disable VODs. And then re-enable them once you're done ho hosting the Game Awards. Because basically, they know that the copyright system is just gonna fuck everyone that tries to ho 
host the Game Awards and watch it online. And Even though it's in fair use, because it's transformative content, right? Like, you're reacting to it. But that's, that's to the extent that we are these days when it comes to music copyright. There's just no such thing as fair use because... These companies that own the rights to things, they just send a bunch of takedown notices and... Basically, Twitch and YouTube don't want to get into trouble. It's easier for them to assume everyone's guilty than it is to, like, assume everyone's innocent and deal with these record labels trying to sue everyone. And the, the fucking amazing thing about it... There was a study done recently, and it was something... I don't know, I can't remember the exact figures, but if you look up a study that was done on how people find music. Um, and it's the age group of teenagers to basically people in their 40s. Their primary way of finding music now is through online streams. And furthermore, with people that were surveyed... They said they were likely to, m to purchase music that was suggested by a streamer. But record labels are like, nah. How dare they play our music and share it with the world. Like, I can attest to that. I've watched... Before all this went to shit, there were streams that I watched and, you know, they'd play music. I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. I'll check them out. Lelo rediscovered a song that he thought he wouldn't be able to find because I just randomly played it one night, you know? Majority of music you found through YouTube videos back in the day by people just having it in the video. Exactly, yeah. And that that's as well, like... Pretty much through interactive media, that's the primary way people discover music now. Whether that's YouTube videos or live streaming. So I, I pre-recorded a reaction video. Because I've been doing them this year, just kind of. I watch those things anyway, the announcements and when they do like Nintendo Directs. So I've been recording them. So what I did this year, um, every time there was a trailer and they started playing copyright music, I overlaid a footage of a Spanish clown singing. And I was like, alright, if they're going to ruin my stream and potentially mess up what I've built, I'm going to mess up their promotional material and just not treat it seriously. Especially now when people rarely listen to the radio or watch VHS, or the times when MTV used to have music. Yeah, MTV is not music anymore, like... I feel like they need to change the acronym to something else. Because it, it, is, it is not music anymore. Just that reality TV show percentage just shifted more and more. Okay, so now the question is, how am I going to find Iridium? Oh, you meant VH1, right, yeah. Yeah, VH1 was the other channel. Um, in Australia, we have... I'm not sure if it still exists, but um, we had this program called Rage. That was on the government-owned uh, TV network. But as far as radio goes, Australians still listen to another government-owned uh, radio station called Triple J. And they have, like, uh, 
a top 100 list that they curate, kind of, every year. So people still, they'd look at that online. They don't listen to the radio, but the list itself is prolific enough here in Australia that, uh, yeah, people still pay attention to it to some degree. And it's not really commercial either. It's not bought. It's kind of... Whoever's, I guess, head DJ or whatever at the time. I forgot to do Demetrius' thing. Um, that is easy. Fertilizer. Both of them are, are pretty easy. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna go do that. Blackberries, yeah, it's not that beneficial. This is probably more beneficial. And there's still tomorrow for blackberries. I just need to repeatedly visit a floor over and over again. It's easy. But yeah, I don't know. Like, it's a thing that copyright laws just haven't caught up to the for the streaming era. Because there's a, a lot of these situations are fair, like, people are within the range of fair use. But, you know, you have to, you have to really fight to prove that you're within it. And even still, like, on YouTube, the people that claim copyright can still just say, nah. Like, just straight up go, nah. Even if you're, you're perfectly valid, they can still be like, nah. 70? Yeah, this is the floor. So the idea is, I think 75 is the one to go to. This is the floor. This is what we want. Oh, this, this brings back memories. Pumping that stupid slime down later. It's not like you go to a stream or reaction video or whatever to hear the song than to just listen to the song. Exactly. It's not like people pull up a stream to listen to music when they're exercising or like doing housework or whatever. At the end of the day, they're going to be... They're still probably going to be subscribed to these music services. I don't know. The one thing I'm surprised Twitch hasn't done, and I don't know if it's a logistics thing or whatever, but, you know, they, their parent company is Amazon, and they have Amazon Music. I would love to see an extension where... Basically, you play your music through Amazon Prime, right? And then the extension will just basically tell whoever's watching the stream, hey, play this music if you're subscribed on Amazon Prime. So it's like, you're not playing the music, it's not coming through the stream, but something is telling your browser, hey, go play this music because the stream is playing it as well. And that would be like, just a simple solution con conceptually. I'm not going to be like an armchair dev here and say it's the easiest thing to develop, but I'm surprised they haven't done something like that and leveraged Amazon Music, which you get with Prime. I've just never used it. Okay, it's time to go. How many do I have to kill? 50. Okay, we can do that tomorrow. That's easy. And we can do the fire quartz thing tomorrow. I think the most annoying thing for me in terms of the copyright stuff... The amount of times I've gone on YouTube and then it's alerting me that, like... 
one of my videos, um, basically ad revenue is not coming. Not that I take ad revenue. I don't have that enabled. Um, and I look at it and the copyright claim is like, okay, it's for the Legend of Zelda. Is Nintendo the one doing this? No, it's some random rapper that has decided to sample the Legend of Zelda music in their shitty track. And so now anyone that has played Zelda is now, like, getting their funds redirected to this arsehole. Or I guess the record label that owns said arsehole's music. And that, that happens so often that it's just... It's not worth fighting it, because it's, it's almost like the Hydra. You, you take one head off and then another one pops up. Going, oh, hey, what's going on here? The most pretty copyright thing is that you can't even hum or whistle the tune of songs. That's super stupid. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, creative expression is part of fair use and covers typically are part of that, right? I've heard people getting copy, not strikes, but you know, the, the notice, right? It's not a strike. The notice for stuff like white noise. Well, like an even more dystopian one is there are people that are kind enough to put like, uh, they're called stems for music and it's just, I guess, a sound or like a small segment of a music track. And people put it up online and you can use it for free. Or maybe you've purchased it from like a legitimate source. So you use it in your music. Yeah. If someone just decides to be like, oh, this sounds similar. They can, yeah. People have been had copyright claims because of that. I don't know. The whole system's a mess and honestly, it probably won't change. Okay, a week from today is the fair. Alright. The, late the latest one that doesn't affect me because I don't have monetization. Um is now YouTube is kind of cracking down on videos that have excess swearing in it. And it's done through AI as well, which is the, the worst part about it. So, yeah. Um. But that, that must suck. Basically, yeah, because you're swearing, they're like, oh, this content isn't suitable for advertisers. I don't know. Like, I find it funny that these brands want to connect with an audience. So, you know, they go to YouTube and they're like, oh, what, what does this demographic enjoy in terms of content? It's like, oh, they, you know, they enjoy this, this Australian dude. He makes funny noises, and, you know, he's a colorful character. It's like, oh, okay. So they enjoy this guy. It's like, yeah. Okay, we'll go see the content. Hmm. We don't like how this guy does this. Can can we can we get him to completely change that and kind of do something different? Despite his viewers enjoying that kind of content. Can, can we change what this demographic enjoys? To suit our narrative? Your sneeze sounded like Thriller by Michael Jackson. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if something like that would happen. But yeah, I don't, I don't understand how that's a thing where... They just... They want to connect with a particular demographic and then... 
they want to change what said demographic watches because they're like, nah, this this isn't a good image for everyone. It's like, yeah, but you, that particular demographic enjoys that content. If you want to connect with that demographic, stop trying to change their content. Because then they'll just go somewhere else. And then you won't be reaching them anymore. Uh, I mean, do I want to plant more? I'm just thinking. You hate sponsors on YouTube. Like, you got YouTube Premium to get off ads. Everything is just ads. You know, I, I saw someone say something that stuck with me that kind of rem reminded me of just this conversation. Someone said that they were just tired of, of streams in general. In that everything's kind of become the same. It's everyone wants the Twitch Prime. Um, everyone's talking about just the same shit effectively. And even if you pay for like not having ads, you still get ads. Because ultimately the streamer is kind of advertising by going, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. Oh, by the way, today's video is brought to you by this, this and that. And it's just become like this hyper-commercial thing. You only really watch my stream, so for you it's YouTube. Okay, yeah. I mean, YouTube, do yeah, I mean, you know, you know the drill, it's like, but before we get started, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Derp VPN. Did you know that with Derp VPN, etc., etc. You can just hear that Dead Tenors try to seem excited about Shadow Legends, yeah. Oh. So the... I, I'm guessing that's his dad. Hi, Warrior. Okay, I guess... Uh, whose grave is that? Either way, it was like a... This is my cat's grave. His name was Dewey. I commissioned Robin to carve a tombstone for him in his memory. Dewey went missing shortly after my mother and I moved into the valley from Zuzu City. He just had turned two years old. We don't know what happened to him. When he went missing, I was devastated. The whole town came out to help to try and find them, but nobody had any luck. After several weeks, we accepted he probably wasn't coming back. I should have been there for him. He must have been so scared alone in a strange place. I hope that he's out. Th if he's out there, he finds his way home, no matter how much time it takes. I'll be here when he does. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was gonna say like that. That is the the situation is very heartfelt, and it would fucking suck. However. This guy, the way he carries himself, it's kind of like he low-key shows off how much money he has, and this is just another way of doing it. It's like, oh, my cat went missing. I'm gonna put a tombstone. Okay, what kind of tombstone are you getting? Oh, you know, like a memorial shrine that's like 20 square meters big. Just a small token to uh, show how much I appreciate it. He is. Oh, what's that? Your grandfather only has a, a, a small tombstone? Oh, I guess not all of us can afford 
uh, like a nice memorial, huh? By the way, did, did you know that, uh, we need help around the house? We've been looking for a butler, are you interested? <laughs> he said that to me so many times. I'm not exaggerating that one. <laughs> he does say that quite a bit. Um, hey! We need a butler. You want you want to be a butler? I'm gonna grow yams. Since they're cheap. You look at the look at the size of that thing. It's fucking gigantic. It's also a cat, like... Unless you're in a high traffic area, it's most likely alive. It's just out in the wilderness somewhere. Oh, I forgot the fire courts. And we need to do skeletons. There's bears in Stardew Valley. I mean... Cats have pretty good instincts to avoid stuff. Particularly because if it goes feral enough, it like... Generally stays out of view. I saw a documentary on Australia's feral cats and just to be able to even film it like they had to set up cameras at specific spots and dude they're, they're super careful. Like just next level stealth. I'm not trying to be callous. Like, again, the, the situation is just, yeah, it's extremely sad. What the heck is this? Oh, I'm not doing this right now. There's a mushroom there? Well, what do you mean? A normal mushroom or a special mushroom? Oh, there, I see it. Poison mushroom. Oh, what? Come on. I can't, I can't get that, unfortunately. Alright, look, I, uh, I got what I wanted, which was a bit of hardwood. I think this is something for another day. I want to go back to the mines and continue killing skeletons. Just wanted to get a bit of hardwood, you know? Oh yeah, I can also plant the hardwood tree, as well. Could have gone up to my farm through there. Okay, but see, I, I didn't know that. Oh, and this is done. Okay, I need to throw my fish in here. Doing Stodgen. Or Sturgeon, there it is. And I can just fish one out when I'm ready to put it in a bundle. Okay.
I guess I should make an effort to clear out um, the left hand side. If that's the case that it connects with that forest. You hate my organization? Uh, you always do. So. I mean, look, it, it's not. Like, it's going to change the moment I get the house and then they have fridges, then all that stuff is going to be different. It's just for now, that's that's what I have. I usually got some shit together by this time. Yeah, but I don't have the house. That's the very next thing I'm going to work on. I'm going to be boring and I'm going to just fish. And raise the funds to get that upgrade. It's going to happen. I don't think I have the house by this time, do I? I don't really have anything to reference. Anyway. 75, alright. Should only take, like... A few minutes, hopefully. You feel like by four I usually have the house upgrade. Maybe this time because I have the barn and stuff. I also haven't done that heavy a focus on fishing. Which could also be contributing to that. Where this, oh, because it's a lucky day, that's why. They're going to be rare spawns. Most likely. I know this must must be annoying, but this is the best way to do this. Do they spawn on other floors? I feel like they do. Ding. I got level 10 fishing compared to my other skills. Okay, but Cat, like, if I'm playing this the way I usually play this, I will have level 10 fishing in the first season. <laughs> that, that didn't happen this time. Or at least close to, like, I'll be able to catch Legend in the first season. I did not do that this time. Like, I, I've been pretty social in this playthrough because I guess it's, like, gonna be a VOD. And I figured no one wants to see Optimal, they just see me read stuff. Yeah, Monster Musk would actually be useful, but for now I'm just gonna have to settle for this. It's just, it's empty. This is probably the wrong day to try and do this, but... Let me look at the wiki. I'm gonna see where else they can appear. Seventy one to seventy nine, okay, so it is just these set of flaws. So seventy five is the best because you can just do this. I mean I can check seventy, but it's just not quick enough.
<laughs> I'm sorry if this is annoying. How many do I have left to do? Uh, you know. Slightly 40. Maybe I should do this tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna go fishing for the rest of the day because this is, this is gonna drive you insane, and I'm not finding them. It was working last time, but I think it's just because this. It's okay. I'm not heartless. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna go home and I'm just gonna clean up, I think, actually. Just cut down some trees and stuff and that should do it. Okay. Oh, I didn't harvest. Alright, I'm going to clear here because this this was getting on my nerves. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at this cluster of trees. Getting rid of all of them. I suppose this also doubles up because I need to get um, wood for the house upgrade, so it's fine. Okay, this is less bad. Stopping that, <laughs> not letting more of them grow. Okay, the walkway is clear for now. I'm gonna also put that bomb away before something. I've done this multiple times. Uh, I'm preempting this. But it wouldn't be a Stardew playthrough if I didn't blow up my farm somehow, accidentally. I'm hoping that this will be the first time where I can go through a playthrough and not blow up my farm accidentally. That would be great. <laughs> Alright, I got 10 grand now. Hey look, it's not raining. I'm writing to thank you for listening to me in the graveyard. I know conversations like that can be stressful. If Dewey ever returns, I know he'll be just as happy to have you for a friend as I am. Sincerely, Victor. Okay, I mean... That'll probably just be used as a present.
I haven't had to water. I haven't had to water crops. I think the ironic thing is usually I don't upgrade the watering can until later. <laughs> the one time I do, I get like rain for a whole week. It's another lucky day. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go fishing. Wait, how many days are left on the skeleton thing? Okay, there's still a, there's still a few days. How much is the house upgrade? Uh, one sec. I need to refer to the wiki. Oh, it's 10,000. It's full. I can order it now. I've got it. I just need the wood. But it's Wednesday and she's not there, right? I can't order it, because she's not there on Wednesdays. She does exercise on Wednesdays, right? Am I right? Oh, the fire crystal thing is gone, so I don't have to do it anymore. Okay. Why do I always want to do things on the days where they're not available? I'm gonna go there with the wood, but I mean, I doubt I'll be able to get it done. What was it? It was 400 wood. 450. Okay, close, but not quite. Um... Just a sec. Oh yeah, I guess I'm not keeping that bok choy. Okay. She's still there, so maybe she is open? working on that.
Oh, it's still berry season. I mean, I don't particularly care about the berries. I guess it does get your foraging skill high, but... Oh no, she is here. Okay. Um, upgrade house. Wait, four, oh, three pieces of wood. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I thought I had it. There we go. There we go. Get out of the way, Sebastian. <laughs> Okay. And we can start making triple shot espresso. Hooray. Oh. Ah, here we go. A oh, hi, warrior. Lewis hired me to get rid of this boulder. It's gonna require an explosive that packs a punch. Problem is, the materials I need to make it aren't exactly easy to come by. You'll help me out, that's kind of you. Meet me out at my house, we can go over the list of materials I need. Okay. Um... I guess... Oh, crap. I wanted to go to the mines, but... Fine. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. I have Omni Geodes, and sometimes they can give you Iridium. I'll take the Geodes over. And that's how I'll do it. In you go. But at least the house is on its way now. Alright, I'll go see... But it'll be funny if I already have the ingredients and I just have to make like another round trip. Geodes over. I don't have that much money. I just realized I don't have that much money. Oh, I probably won't make it. He is the most inconvenient of vendors, honestly. Like, 4pm? And then he has the goal to complain. 
Uh, you're not giving me enough business. Okay, he is here, but I think he's away from his desk. Oh, hey, warrior. Sorry, I didn't hear you over the furnace. I need coal and iridium ore to make a bomb powerful enough to destroy that boulder. You can drop off the materials in that crate to your right. Yeah, thanks for helping me. Check your journal for specific amounts. Wait, this crate? Oh no, he's here, he's here. Okay, cool. Okay, let's start with these ones. I mean, uh, it's gonna be unlikely. I just, I just need one. Just a single piece of it. No. Nah. I don't think these ones drop it, it's just the Omni Geodes that do. I mean, if nothing else, this will be just museum fodder, so it's fine. Save the marble, yep. I uh, can't afford it. Um, well, hold on. I think these will sell. That can become a present for someone. The fairy said I need to donate. 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 These are all donate. Okay. I haven't donated a fire quartz, really? Okay, fine. This is just so I can... Yes! <laughs> okay! Mine cuts. There's the mine cuts. I, I, I don't even care about the rest. I... Yeah, I will definitely save the extra fairy stones because future waifu likes it. Okay. <sighs> Awesome. Oh, there's more blue. Yeah. I mean, just lead it this way, I guess. I mean, I would say that probably goes down there. Oh, actually. Oh, I'll get rid of the disc. Hold on. <laughs> it's, it's not like it matters a whole lot, but... I feel like I'll get shit if I don't do this. Hang on. Ugh. I wish you could swap. Just swap the position. That would be great. Oh, she has a quest as well involving some. Okay. Noted. Alright, I mean, that's good enough, I think. For now.
uh, yeah, I, I, as much as I want to see that line. And you know, it's hungry. It looks delicious. <laughs> I need to save that to make the uh, marble torch thingy. Okay, that's easy enough. I'm going to the mines anyway, because I want I need to do the skeleton thing. But the beautiful thing now is that last alright, house is on the way. Mine carts are here. Everything is good. I guess I'm, the next thing to work on is the the bus. I need to get that bus up and running. Which, uh, look, it's not going to be the most exciting gameplay, but let's face it, the quickest way for me to do that is to fish at that bridge. I'm going to fish at that bridge for like three, four days straight. And that should give me enough to do most of it, not all. I think you need like 50 grand in total. Okay, uh, if the skeletons aren't paying off, I'll get the copper. Can I, can I just have an unlucky day? Like, I, I don't mind. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's start at five. I'll just jump through, like, each set of floors. And just stop when I see copper. I'm just after quick copper. Hold on. I thought I thought lucky days were meant to be better in terms of ore. Okay, there we go. How much do I need? 20? Yeah, not that. 35. Okay. Wait, what's the other one I'm doing? Okay, patrol. I really hope that the skeleton thing doesn't flop because of the lucky days. I might leave and just go back through again. Not that floor, 40. 30, 30. 30 is the one that I should be starting at. Just go. Uh, 
I know it's gonna make a ding, but like I'm kind of imp impatient. Okay, I'm not gonna continue. Reset it, because I can just go to 35 manually. I think that's the way to do it. Go to, go to 35 first, and then go back to 30 and walk through. I'm probably not going to get to hunt any skeletons. That's it. Okay, cool. I might be able to squeeze in a couple. Oh. <laughs> ah! Of course. When I'm done! When I'm done, game is like, Oh yeah, you, you want copper? Yeah, I have some copper. Why didn't you ask? Okay, now it's giving me skeletons. I mean, it's fine. It still contributes to the total. Okay, that's probably all I'll get to do. I'll have one last look. Okay, that's it. They're not available yet, are they? <laughs> this is the last time I'm gonna have to stress about that. Last time I have to do this walk home. And I could probably stay longer. This is gonna be good. Have I donated that already? I have. I wish you could just place that. Yeah! <laughs> Finally! Alright. Hooray. It's Jody's birthday. She likes cauliflower, right? Hey, Mormoth, how's it going, dude? And then... And I can get organized, I, I guess. <laughs> Better than yesterday, good to hear. It's kind of funny that uh, you're talking about yesterday when for me <laughs> it's the same day. Just way later. Time zones. I mean, okay, to be fair, it's not the same day. 
Wait, wait, is, does this say two now? One, okay. Yeah, that's... I hate when that happens. Okay, place the yam. It's still blackberry season, but... Honestly, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go back and- I have to do the skeleton thing. Wait, someone spilled some water on the floor, and since you have hardwood flooring, you slip and knock your head into the wall pretty hard. Shit, dude. Yeah, that, that sucks. Hopefully you didn't get a concussion or anything. Nah, I'm gonna have to, like, visit the doctor. Cause, uh... I used to get eczema pretty badly, and I guess I've had this patch kind of appear in the last week, and last night it just, like, I don't know what happened, but I woke up this morning and it was just kind of bad. So I'm gonna have to go see, like, maybe I have to get some of that stronger cream for it. Or maybe go on that annoying diet I had to go on back in the day. Which, uh, like, cleared it up for so many years. But it was just, it was, it's been so uncomfortable all day, practically. Didn't have any dizziness, headache, internally. I guess I'm allowed to pretend that it's not that bad anymore until it is again. I mean, I used to I used to get it pretty, pretty bad. And I'd say for the last 10 years, it, it hasn't been bad. Um, like, I'll get little, tiny little patches, like, maybe one centimeter big, right? Nothing. But when I was a teenager, oh, I used to get it on my eyelids, and I had, um, like, across my stomach, I had quite a bit, and had to go to the doctor multiple times to try and solve it. Originally, they thought it was stress-related, because that's the funny thing about it. It can be, like, a multitude of things. It could be diet, it could be stress, it could be an allergic reaction to things. Like, it's just... Annoying. So I've had it on the control for the last decade or so. And this is probably like the worst patch I've gotten since I was in my 20s. So I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking. Skelet, I guess, yeah, go up. It is Pan- uh, Jody, not Pan. Um, Jody is cauliflower, right? I'm correct in that. I'm pretty sure. That's why she gets you to make it. Jody... No. Diamond, cake. Pancakes, rhubarb pie, don't have any of that. All universal likes except garlic. Eh, she doesn't like garlic. Come on, how could you not like garlic? Wario loves garlic. I 
acá. It might be a stress thing this time because... I mean, in November, it's the most busy time of the year, and that's roughly when it turned up. But I mean, I've, I've only been off work for a few days, so... The funny thing is I, I took some time off just in preparation of that, like, busy time. I was like, alright, before we enter this busy period, I'm gonna take, like, a bit of time off. So, I don't know. It's annoying, but I'll deal with it. Birthday gift, that's very kind of you. Okay, maybe I've been spoiled by the boys a bit. They've never had to do any chores. Or maybe she spoiled, spoiled the boys. Anyway. Um, you can have this. I just wanted to off offload it. Okay, and now I can use mine carts to get around. Although, here's the thing, I need to go to the spa and now the minecart is further away from the spa. This is this is the annoying thing now, is like before it was somewhat a good distance away from the spa, but now it's not. It's almost Okay. Do you think it's better for me to walk up to the spa and then to the mine? Or do you think it's better to go to the mine, walk down to the spa, and then walk back? Which is further away? I'm trying to think, like... I would think going up this way feels more direct, instead of going on the minecarts. As the path up there isn't that long, I feel like it takes a while to get from the mines to the spa. Alright, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look at it. Time is 110. Okay, time, like roughly 110. Shit. Okay, this might not count. I'll figure- I'll average it out, it's fine. I'll just cut 10 seconds off the time. Okay, so roughly it takes 40 seconds to get here. Give or take. Wait, you can place the mine back in its old spot if it bothers me. You can? Oh, it's probably like a mod configuration. Well, I'll see. It's not that it bothers me, it's just right now I was just thinking... On the days that I want to go to the spa... On the days that I want to go to the spa, like, is this worse? But yeah, for those that were wondering, like, what kind of diet I went on... This diet basically reduced my eczema to, like, a very mild occurrence at the start of spring, more or less. So the diet was not eating anything from the nightshade of family of vegetables. So that family includes cu cucumber, zucchini, eggplant, like as if I was ever going to eat that. But here's the shitty ones. Potato, tomato, peppers of any kind, so chilies, capsicum, that sort of stuff. None of that. 
So just think about the amount of food that it rules out, right? And then this whilst this wasn't a thing for me because I don't typically eat red meat that often. It was like, if you're going to have red meat just once a week. Or avoid it. Like, have more fish and chicken. Which, hey, have more chicken. That's fine by me. It was tough, because, like... I remember... I, and I did that, so the idea was... Um, you do it for a minimum of six months. But the longer you do it, the better it is. And then you it reintroduce the foods at the end of the period, one by one. And you kind of find what makes your condition worse. Or your body has learnt to not really generate eczema. And you remain okay. So the latter is what happened to me. I introduced the foods one by one and nothing happened. And it was, yeah, it's remained under control for like the last decade. Okay, excellent. So I did it for a year. And if you're not familiar with like, because I was living at home at the time. If you're not familiar with food from Central America, let me tell you, quite a bit of it involves tomato and chilies. <laughs> I think my lowest point in that diet, I went to a friend's house for a birthday and you know, uh, uncontrollable reasons, they were running late with the barbecue. So we got there at the agreed time and nothing was really ready to go. So it was like two o'clock in the afternoon, was starving, you know. About 2.30, they finally bring out some something to snack on. And the snacks... <laughs> there's like a, uh, a massive, like, pile of different potato chips. Some corn chips, which were spicy. And, of course, would have tomato powder and stuff like that. Um, and... You know, like, one of those cheese platter, like, like the Italian thing, I forgot what it's called, it's like, you know, tomato, cheese, and olive oil, right? And I stuck out my hand, because I was that hungry, and then I was like, oh shit, right. The only thing I could eat was the cheese, the cheese, and I had to go inside and request, like, cheese that wasn't drenched in chili. So, you know, everyone's enjoying chips, corn chips, this delicious looking caprese thing, caprese, whatever it is. And I'm there just having, like, just plain cheese. <laughs> it sucked so much. Didn't eat, you know, pasta is one of my favorite things. Couldn't have lasagna, couldn't have, like, a bolognese. It was all, like, effectively cream-based stuff. If we were having pizza, I would have to order special and get, like, the bechamel base. Right? Non-tomato base. Uh, what else? My mom, thankfully, like, came up with a cre creative solution for, like, sauces. Um, there's like this sauce that's made out of pumpkin seeds that's like an alternative to tomato. And so that was, that served as like sort of a foundation for things like tacos and things like that. Where I couldn't have that stuff. 
No, no, I, I stuck to my diet for a whole year. Without fail. Because it was that annoying, like, right before it, I got an infection in my leg through the eczema, like that. And yeah, <laughs> I've never felt so sick in my life. Nearly was hospitalized. So I had to do something about it. And the very first thing I did the moment, like the day I was like, all right, first things first, we're going, we're going out. We're going, I'm going to have a pizza. I'm going to eat a whole fucking pizza. I don't usually ever do this. Like two to three slices is okay for me. I ate a whole pizza and then had a massive nap. After a year of not having a normal pizza, it was great. Anyway, one of the things that I can sympathize the most with is people who have eczema. The moment I see it, I can feel it. I can feel what it feels like. I, like, if I see someone with a patch of eczema on their hand, I feel it on my hand. That's how bad it, it got. You know when someone- there are people that kind of clench when you describe something like a paper cut? That's what eczema is to me. Like, it's- it's like that. Didn't I get sick if I ate a whole pizza? Nah, it's not that hard to do. I didn't get like a fully loaded one, it was, um... Like, prosciutto and, uh, that rocket salad. Those are generally pretty easy to eat. They don't have a whole lot of topping on it, but they're good. How many more skeletons do I have to kill? Alright, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oh wait, I got minecarts now. I got minecarts now. I can hang out for another 30 seconds. I mean, sometimes when you miss a food that often, like, you just gotta engorge, you know? We just still have enough time to get home. Eczema is not a joke. Yeah, it's not. See, so yeah, right now I have a fairly large patch, and it's the way I have I have to do like the stuff that I used to do. I used to get a wet towel and just put it over the patch, and that generally like makes it not itch for a while. But then every now and then I have to go like re moisten the towel. And you generally, I had, I have to, I had to go get moisturizer as well. <laughs> so, I don't know. Sorry if this is TMI, but that's that's what's going on with me, chat. Okay, I have a lot of gold. I think I need to start making more bars. You used to have it really bad when you were young. Sometimes you couldn't move. Luckily, you don't have issues with it anymore. From what you, my doctor told me, eczema is one of those things that more often than not, it goes one of two ways. It's either you get it as a baby and then it disappears and it develops into either seasonal allergies or just hay fever, right? Or you don't have it when you're a baby and you develop it when you're like 
about to enter adolescence and then it sticks with you practically your whole life and it can become chronic and horrible. Guess which one I lucked out with. <laughs> and that makes sense. Um, two of my brothers have hay fever. And they got pretty bad eczema when they were infants and then it, they don't get it anymore. But you know, at least they can take medication and get rid of it. Or, or not get rid of it, like just... Not make it as annoying, whereas in me, it's just, like, if it gets bad, it's just this thing that's just itching non-stop. And if I touch it, it's gonna get worse. It's... it fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll clear out. We'll see. I don't think I need these recycle machines anymore. Like, I think this is overkill. I'll put them into storage. And I'll move these over here and I'll put two more, uh... There. Do it like this. And now it's right next to the coffee, so it's better. See? I'll, I'll, get, I'll get around to arranging. Eventually things will become organized. I'm getting there. Just... I just need time. I know I get a lot of shit for my organization in these kind of games, but it does get there eventually. And I'll put the charcoal kiln at the top of it. There it is. Assuming it doesn't get in the way. Your partner is looking at the ground going, he really ought to clean up the farm. Yeah, I mean, I usually do all that in winter. Because you don't have a lot to do in winter, at all. But I, I know, I know. I'll get, I'll get there in the end. I know, I know what's going on in my chest is far from ideal, but the moment this house is up, I'm gonna buy some fridges, and then all that is gonna become way more organized. You'll, you will see. Oh, these are ready. These are ready. Okay. Please tell me five of them were... Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, um... Let me just... <laughs> I'm, I was gonna say get organized. Haha. -ha. Um... Oh, this is full now. Yeah. But it's okay! Alright. That's gonna go... That's gonna go... These can stack in here. Wait, why isn't this... Oh, that's why. Oh, it's Sunflower Honey. Okay, but... I guess I'll sell these ones. I need to sell 15. Anyway, I need to take one of these with me. What else is missing? So it's just yams, that's fine. Pumpkin is the missing one.
Also, in my defense, it is really late, so I know I'm going around in circles quite a bit here. <laughs> it's my brain just trying to comprehend what to do next. Um, traveling merchant. And then gonna hunt skeletons for the rest of the day. Oh, there's... I'm a better decorator than an organizer, I think. I'm good at making structures. As far as sorting inventories, not that much. Sorry, just making sure. Okay, uh, what am I planting? I got more yams. Crops is the main. All the other maps look interesting in their own way, but crops need optimization. I mean, this is, this is okay. It's not, it's not properly optimized, but... For now, before I got down to automation. Where'd I put those seeds? I mean, this is a custom map, so I'm not quite familiar with it yet. Oh. Really? I thought I had a slot. Okay. Alright. Uh, half the day is gone. Excellent. Please, please let there be that fish on sale. <laughs> I'm going to hate if that's what's going to stop me from finishing a feather. Okay, um, I don't have ducks yet. That's a, and that's required in a bundle. So that's that's excellent. You also try to give them time so they all yield at the same day, but you always end up messing it up. Oh, I just- I fall victim to just missing a spot. And then the next day I'm like, uh, there's a spot there where a crop could have gone. So, that's unfortunate. Um, look, just put this here for now. Is there anything else I need to take? I'm I'm gonna have a look. Just go through these one by one. That's gonna get resolved. This... Cheeses. So I need to get a cheese press. I need to get a goat next. That'll cover two. And then I need to, I need to get the pigs. Ooh, that's gonna be problematic. It might be better to go to fruit tree and get apple. I have to get that greenhouse. Yeah, I need to... Alright, that's the path. Pigs aren't gonna happen before winter. Because apple tree will... That's gonna resolve itself. This is probably gonna be the missing item at the end. That is gonna resolve itself, so that's done. Um, apple tree would resolve that. I should get started on that. That's it. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, iridium bar is the missing one. Uh, 
Oh, but I can't. Ooh, I can't, because... Crap. No, I have to go... I have no choice. I have to go after the pigs. Unless they sell one of these. I have no choice. I have to go after pigs. Okay. Um, let's get started on that wine. Let's do this. Kind of just realized the predicament I am. I mean, I haven't put an apple tree down. Um. Okay. I'm gonna take geodes with me. Again, and hopefully get stuff out of it. Alright. You like the mining exploration piece more, so when you play in tandem, she handles crop stuff and you handle the mining and fishing. That's what makes this game great, is like the co-op aspect, you can divide it up into what you enjoy the most. I think for me is just the challenge of getting the stuff done and getting into something that slowly becomes more complicated and you do better every time. I don't think I've ever played this game in a co-op sense. I mean, not true co-op like that. I've done shared space. They're worth a thousand. Together. Um, I only need one. Gotta keep that one, because that's a present. Sell. Shit! <laughs> I was only supposed to sell one. Oh, you can... Okay. Oh! That is a good feature. Buy back. <laughs> Thank you, mod. What a, what a feature. It saved me. Okay. Oh. Uh, hang on. Not the re- to reorganize. Okay, hang on. This even this is not correct. I suppose I can move this to like, because that doesn't really work out anyway. That's better. This one 
doesn't quite fit. <laughs> Out of the way. I'm doing all the important stuff, clearly. Someone's setting off fireworks at 3 in the morning. <laughs> On a Monday. I don't, know, I don't know what to say to that. And I guess this can kind of fade this way. Um, I guess there's a slot for a blue. Whoops. I mean, okay, the other way this could work. Probably better. Kind of ends on this. Yeah, that's better. And then these are like, kind of neutral toned. <laughs> right, my museum. I like the bottom display. I mean, without going, like, even more OCD about it. Okay, uh, now bundle time. Again? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm going to have to be boring, unfortunately. And work on, um, getting these done. I have to go for pigs, which is gonna be tricky. I have to do two barn upgrades back to back. He's addicted to copper ore, but just wants to look at it. Yeah, because he knows what's gonna happen if he's allowed to touch the copper ore. He's gonna lose all self-control. Wait. Oh my god. Okay. I have to get the skeleton thing done and then straight up, like, the next six days, money making to the point where I will just do a double upgrade of the barn. And then it's up to the pig. No, but it's not going to happen in time. I think I'm screwed. Unless the truffle is on sale. Which can happen. Or the oil itself. The oil can go on sale. I think I might have to rely on the oil being on sale. 
And the soul of the matter are the fish, but I'm just... Oh, hello. Freya, hi, love. We should go adventuring sometime. Okay. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is, uh, gonna be a game of R and Jesus towards the end. Look, I've gotten- I, I got Ancient Seeds on day 9. It's not that- I'm not asking for that much. Compared to that. I should have remembered about the trees. I should have planted an apple tree. That was my bad. What do I need the oil for? Can't I get anything from that bundle? Alright, maybe I'm tired, but let, let's, let me review the situation again. Okay, let's just go through it one by one. I went with the mushroom care because it was like food, and it helped me quite a bit. But basically, these two I can get. So I just need one of these. Basically, I have to rely on one of these being on sale. Or getting pigs, and getting a pig to drop a truffle in the next... 16 days, which, now that I said it out loud, probably won't happen. Most likely won't happen. So, I have to rely on one of these being sold. Which, the pomegranate, I've seen. It can happen. That's gonna resolve itself naturally. Fuck this situation that I put myself in, honestly. That's gonna resolve itself naturally, I just need it. Um... This is just money. Needs an apple tree. So I would need to have the greenhouse in winter. Yeah, I think I may have blown it. The only way this is going to happen, the only way this is going to happen, realistically, is if the traveling merchant sells one of these fruits before, before winter. If I get that, the rest will fall into place. Because as soon as I get the greenhouse, the fruit trees are going to happen, the other bundle will happen, and then it's just the damn sunfish, which... It's just my carelessness. I mean, I don't have to get everything in the first year, but it would be nice, but... It's not looking good. I think I'm uh, I'm gonna have to go completely antisocial and just go for money, and just see what I can do. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It is a fun challenge. That's why I, I'm trying. But admittedly, I, I have messed this up on a couple accounts here. This, it's not impossible. It's not likely. It's not impossible, but it's not likely. Skull Caverns is usually got money, but I gotta spend money to make money. But that's what I'm saying, like... 
this is the problem, is now... I still need to get the goat cheese, so I need to- I need to do one barn upgrade, and then I need to get the bus. So the priority is the barn upgrade to get goats. I have to get that going, quickly. And then... the bus has to be up and running. You know, I remember once upon a time when I was playing this, and people were like, Why did you get the bats for? The mushrooms are so much better. I think back to that moment, and wish I could show them this exact, this exact situation. Oh, the amount of crap I got for picking the bats. That one playthrough. For complaining about the new fish being too good, I'm still poor. Hey, I've spent- I've spent a lot of money on stuff. I have spent a lot of money on stuff, okay? How much have I earned? Uh, hundred and forty thousand. Wait, what am I doing? I shouldn't fight this thing. I mean, I know people can do a million in a year, but I'm not that. believe this like this is supposed to be an unlucky day and I haven't run into skeletons well okay how much should I have at this point then if not the amount I have one more There it is. Alright. There's, there's 6,000 gold. You had earned probably 500k by the end of fall. Or maybe I'm just lagging behind, huh? Maybe I don't have enough preserves and stuff going. I mean, I did say that this for super early game is good money, but that it would be eclipsed by other shit later. It's just having a spot you can come to and get like 300 gold that quickly. At least for me, it was huge. I think I'm at the point now where I need to diversify.
And this is the thing with this game, is like, when you feel like you can do better, you want to do better. Like, I'm already thinking of another scenario of, like, what I could do instead. Okay, here's the other thing. Not to make excuses, but, like... I'm not playing the way I usually play. I've been reading, I've been going to NPC dialogues quite a bit more, and trying to explore the area and do stuff to show the mod. So I haven't exactly been doing what I usually do. But okay. I'll make- oh wait, I'm gonna go. I need to put a better effort into this. I just- I didn't want this to be like me being super efficient and just fishing every day for the first year. <laughs> Honestly, if I want to make money, I'd be fishing for the first season in its entirety, and then based off that money, like, just start factories and shit, and not interact with anyone. And that probably would interest some people, but... I mean, in the interest of having a playthrough, I feel like talking to the NPCs is a bit imperative. Um... But, okay. I have 140 coal. I don't have that much wood, but I can- I can fix that tomorrow. I'll see what I can do. Just probably not today. Uh, his brain is- is tired. Brain is like, shh, time- time for- time for rest. Okay, but tomorrow, money-making schemes. Put this in here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that, uh, I focused a little too hard on those skeletons, but... Okay, um, where are the big eggs? Don't go yet, but, like, it's 3.30. I, I can do one more day. Like, I, I'm kinda, ugh. <laughs> that must be awkward. Milking them when they're asleep. Nah, I, I, one, just one more, that's all I can do. Because today yeah, is supposed to be like the star of Christmas party. And I was like 50-50 on going, depending on if I had to do family stuff. And I don't, so... I should probably make an appearance at it. Okay, well... I guess this is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not I'm not going to organize now, however, I will migrate shit. Like you're just gonna have to deal with this chest situation. It 
Yeah, I mean, I, I tried to pick the colors around my brand. So, it's not that those are colors that I would pick for a kitchen in real life. It's that, and I know you, you're gonna hate this, but... <laughs> but now, we can worry about being a nice proper house later. I hope it's not too early. Well, I just wanted to stop and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you discovered. Done so much for one person. In fact, I just received a letter from the Office of Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And it's all thanks to you. It's also, well, as I promised in you, the Regional Secretary of Artifacts gave the museum a considerably large donation. You'll be receiving a small portion of it soon, or portion of it soon, I should say. We'll be seeing more of each other soon. Good day, Mr. Warrior. It's Abigail's birthday. Geo Crusher. Okay, um. Guess let's work on it. Oh, um, they want a diamond right away, right? Yeah. I can upgrade the barn tomorrow or complete the bus. It's a tough choice because... I have to get- I have to get the cheese. That's the- that's the thing. I have to get the cheese. I could sell some of these diamonds as well. You know what? That might- that might be a way to... I have, like... Like, realistically, if I do that... That might turn the tides a little. Because I don't need a lot to start a, a diamond factory, I think four should be fine. I'm gonna start, like, an outdoor area to put preserved jars, I think. I'll find more, yeah, exactly. But I, I still want to keep a baseline of four. I think is enough. Oh, the pumpkins are done, but I don't need the quality crops anymore. I got the crystallarium from the bus bundle, okay. Might be worth just investing in that now. Um, I do need to do more pumpkins, so I need to... But, I guess the whole... I'm just gonna go get more bok choy, honestly. Now I need to be smart about how I spend money. Okay, take the single one. I need to get wood today, that's the priority. Didn't that shift? There we go. I mean, look, it's not much, but... I just need a few more copper bars, I don't have that many. 
chickens are being neglected. I need to pet them. Varying quality of milk. <laughs> Why can't it be normal? Oh, also, 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 also. Also. I've been saving for this. Okay. This will this will also help. Oh, yes! Turbo time. What I have is. Oh. That came with a bundle. Um. No, wait, I. Oh, but I can just. I can do this. I mean, I don't care about speed growing. Just do that. I'm just gonna place it. Okay. My birthday. Amethyst. I could probably sell crystals as well, but I don't know. What now? I think there's a way for me to make like a quick five grand off stuff that I have. Okay. Mm, sorry. I might just. Oh, good. Here you go. Okay, um... I mean, it's only eight, so I'll, I'll do it, and then the rest will be this. That should hopefully carry me for a little bit. Um, I assume the Crystallarium is the 10 grand bundle. <sighs> Little, there we go. Why do they have hitboxes? Okay. I oh, can't cut these trees down. I'm hoping I uh, I'm guessing I'm going to need more stone.
there's also the, the gem fruit thing that's gonna give me more health. Okay. I'm just going to eat that. Okay, we've got a lot to do here. I need to balance out getting stone as well. There's no doubt for that upgrade I'm going to need both. I need to leave some of these trees. Not all of them. That's convenient. Should have done that a while ago. Um, okay. I mean, I'll get to that when it comes time. Um, what's missing? Stone again? I'm gonna imagine it's stone. No? Okay, maybe it's just wood. Okay, I mean, either way... Upping that production... Um, 
Um, didn't I get another beehive? Oh yeah, here. Okay. I mean, probably not the right time. I'm just gonna use the trout soup. I guess I'm finally getting around to cleaning this up, huh? This has gotten my ass into gear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can pull this off. It's like one gap. Yeah, one gap, that, and then shit, what order was it? Sorry, right, take all the time I need. Don't have fertilizer yet. Okay. That's why I put the bed right next to <laughs> right next to it. I'll do one more day since the traveling merchant. I'm kind of curious myself, but this is it. This is straight up the last. Okay, um. Oh, I didn't plant anything there. Whoops. That's my bad. You all forgot something. It's okay. Well, I mean, I don't have I don't have the raw materials, but I can fix that. Okay, that's all set up. I can get rid of you. You're no longer required.
Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to buy the bus, basically. I'm gonna have to buy stone, but it should be okay. Right, and I keep the box chickens in the box area too. Because I wanted I wanted the uh, I wanted the ducks to have a pond. I was thinking of the ducks. The fuck? Oh, inventory full. I throw that out. Cause different quality milk. You let you swim in the river. Yeah, I didn't consider the river. That was not a consideration I made. We're going to do a fire sale here. Selling half. That can be sold more. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm keeping the bucket on me. Um, that's all I need to take, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll bring all my wood with me. I'll probably move it, but for now. How much wood do I need for the barn upgrade? I'm, if the last one was 350, I'm guessing this one's 450.
I just got saved. I just got saved. I don't have to get goats. I don't have to get- I don't have to get the upgrade. I don't have to get the upgrade. That's a game changer. Just turn that into goat cheese. Done. So I don't need to bother. Pigs were never gonna happen. That's not a reality that we were going to experience. That's a game changer right there. So now it's just a matter of the fruit being in the store is what I'm gonna have to hope for. I think, I think I can do this. But I'm gonna start, like, my means of production upgrading. Clean a source before bed, okay. I'm gonna make a mill instead. I'm going back and I'm gonna see what's required for a mill. I'm gonna start milling that flour, because I need the flour. I forgot about the flour. So, that's the building I'm gonna make instead today. Either way, this is fine. Um, okay. Hold on. Mill. A mill requires 50 stone, 150 wood. Oh, it requires cloth. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, let's not panic about that yet, then. How many items do I need from the traveling merchant? <sighs> okay, I need one fruit or truffle. So that's one. That's going to resolve itself. I need the sunfish. But, see, the flour, I'd much rather spend that money on just making my... Because I don't need it now. I need the rabbit's foot. Okay. Maybe I should upgrade... Because they can still drop that in winter, right? I need pomegranate as well, but the most important thing is getting the greenhouse up and running. So that's like the biggest condition. Okay. I think I have to do the, the coop. Four hundred wood, one hundred and fifty stone. Which I don't think I have the stone for it. Yep, not even close. So I'm going to do that. Bunnies can give cotton as well, that's true. Alright. Um, let me... I'm just gonna go straight there, um, but first... Let me set this. I also need to get the animals a heater soon, but for now, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, shop.
I'm getting some extra stone. And some extra wood. Not a whole lot. Okay, um, construct... Where is it? It's the one. Although, hang on. Hold on. <sighs> Don't tell me I can't. Okay, look for now. I'll move it again later. Before I forget. Okay. I need to upgrade it twice for bunnies. Yes, I do. But I guess the reason I got this was just so I can... I can start getting some of the stuff done. Yeah, they can still drop it in winter, so... As long as I focus on the bunnies, it should be okay. Okay, energy full. Gonna drop off this bundle and I'm going to... I'm going to cut more trees down. I had- this is why I saved a lot of vegetables and stuff, so hopefully this will start accelerating the money a little more. First, let's just go do this. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I mean, that shouldn't matter. Okay, let's get this up and running. Wait, no. Do this one at a time. Oh, that's 25,000. Fuck. I don't have the 5,000. I'll have it tomorrow. I'll have it tomorrow. I sold a bunch of stuff. I'll have it tomorrow. I probably should have gone with the biggest one first, but I guess it's fine. Get rid of the little cheese. Anything new here? No, it's just winter foraging. Alright. It's probably it's funny, it's probably that money I spent on this that made me not afford it. But it's not the end of the world. What are you two doing here? Not now? Wait, what? Okay. I don't think I've ever seen them out like that. I've never seen that before. I'm selling the cakes. Um, this is fine.
just can kind of stay like that. Guess sell the cheese. There's also that stupid event coming up. It looks like they're having a fight. I've never seen that before. Yeah, wait, what am I doing? Wrong wrong way around, wrong way around. I was supposed to put stuff in here. Okay. It is I, the Queen of Swords, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish. Trout soup. There's something about... Fresh caught soup that just gets a buzz, alright. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, what I was supposed to do was... Okay, well... Let's just start. For now. Just have like a quick storage here. What am I missing? Wood. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna cut more trees down. But in here. I'm neglecting my animals. Pine trees are like the least useful ones. I have to keep brewing coffee, that's the other thing. Okay. Um. Mm. 
Another five. This is like what we call aggressive expansion. <laughs> Okay, um, let me see what else I can do. Probably not a whole lot else. Okay, just leave it for now. Okay. Let's see how much money. Okay, not that much extra, but at least it's enough to cover the bus. Okay. Just let me just get collect my thoughts here. Oh. Hi, how are you? Ooh, that was quite the workout walking all the way up here. Anyway, I came to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. There's the fish thing. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just see what comes tomorrow. The Saudi Valley Fair. Okay, I need a. I'm just gonna take that honey. Uh, but I need. I need. Multiple items. Um, okay. I mean, I have quite a few fish. That'll probably be fine. I think I, I, think I can cope. Alright. Exit to title. No, no, we're done. I kept my end of the bargain. I'm just like... Mentally preparing myself. So then I know what I'm doing next time. And I can think. So. <laughs> I'm done. It's 4am, I need to get sleep. Sorry. But, yeah, uh, It's what happens when you're on the other side of the world. And your stream times don't overlap with time zones properly. Um, if I didn't have to potentially make an appearance at a Christmas party today, I would stay up a little longer, but, you know. Okay, chat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. If you're on YouTube and you see this VOD eventually and you want to see more of this, you know, do do the stuff that YouTubers do. And I'll, uh, I'll appreciate it. <laughs>